on the uh, inside of the restaurant, um, we have some uh, neat memorabilia. Um, and, and you can't tell the story without looking at the first picture. Uh, for the longest time, my dad uh, struggled uh, thinking that he was the only one from his unit that came home from uh, Vietnam. And sometime in 1988, 89, there was a substitute teacher at Grundy County High School and her name was Miss Grace Grayson. And she had been here from Corbin, Kentucky. And she was talking about a gentleman by the name of Roger McCrary. And my dad recognized the name. They were the best of friends in Vietnam and they had a reunion in 1988 or 89 and uh, to the best of my knowledge it was one of the few times if any that I ever saw my dad cry definitely the first time but it was a very moving experience um, this was uh, my dad and Roger in this picture and uh, when dad was in Vietnam this was his uh, for lack of a better way of putting it his gunner partner this dad was the A gunner and this was the B gunner um, this was my dad and Roger when my dad first visited the uh, Vietnam Memorial, the Vietnam Wall in D.C. And uh, this picture here says it all, simplify. That's uh, Roger McCreary. They called this guy Moon, but his name is Jim Hanser. And my dad and uh, Bob Boger. And uh, Bob, is the, um, Bob is the guy who came down and he did all the uh, work on the inside of the restaurant in honor of my dad. Um, and these are just some pictures from Vietnam uh, from my uh, from my dad's photo collection, and uh, we think that this is my dad and what they, what they call the hooch or his little tent in the field. And then this bunker, uh, Roger and Bob, in the pictures that you just saw, they tell the story that my dad did some kind of acrobatic backflip into the bunker, and he grabbed one or both of them and pulled them off into the bunker with him just before a artillery or a, a mortar round hit and you can see the damage to the uh, to the bunker and so they say that dad saved their lives uh, these are just more pictures out in the field um, if you turn over to this side this is a picture of if I'm if I'm not mistaken this is Jimmy die in the bottom we know that this is Roger McCrary and this is my dad um, in one of those uh, bunkers and you can tell they're pretty deep in there um, but that was that was a picture of the guys in Vietnam um, a little advertisement I guess this is a good time without taking away from dad but here's our first inspection and we scored a 100 so we're proud of that and um, this is my dad's uh, combat jacket from Vietnam and sometime about eight or nine months ago uh, when my dad was able to go up and down the stairs for the last time at his house. He brought the jacket down and, uh, and he wanted me to have it and uh, it's a pretty emotional experience but uh, that's dad's combat jacket and one of his favorite things in this world was a wooden bowl that belonged to his mother and uh, how I wound up with it was I think my I think my mom said Clay I, if you want this it, take it with you and I said well let's put it in the restaurant so uh, that wooden bowl belonged to my grandmother Newsom and it's pretty pretty uh, pretty good thing to have here I guess the uh, collection of bottles uh, is certainly not all the old bottles that my dad had but uh, there are quite a few in there that are old for sure and uh, my dad loved the to collect old things like that and uh, in the shadow box you'll see that uh, this is a flag that uh, Scott Desjardins had flown over the Capitol in honor of my dad. 